Hi, I'm Clyde Peterson, an artist and instructor for the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here today with another Art in Action. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a simple stop motion program for your tablet or phone. This program is free and it's very accessible. I really recommend it for doing animation tests or making larger films. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is download a program in the App Store that's called Stop Motion. You can go ahead and pause this video and download Stop Motion in the App Store to your phone or your tablet. And then when you're ready, press play on this video again. Welcome back. Did you download Stop Motion? Okay, great. Now let's get started. I'm gonna run you through a quick tutorial on the program. All right, so I've got my iPad set up on top of my animation stand and I've got my puppet set up beneath it. The first thing you'll do is open Stop Motion, the app, and then you'll press the plus button to start a new film. And what you're gonna see here is the iPad opening up the app with the camera, focusing down through the hole that you created in your animation stand and looking at your puppet. Before you start shooting the film, there's a few important things that you'll want to do. You'll want to make sure that your film has enough light. It isn't too bright or too dark. You'll want to make sure that your camera is focused on your puppet and nothing else. And you're going to want to set the frames per second for your film speed. Today we're going to be shooting at 12 frames per second. So that means that every time you take 12 pictures, you've created one second of film. To change the frames per second, go ahead and click the gear wheel button. This will be in a different space on the program depending on if you're using your iPad or your iPhone, but you're still gonna click the gear wheel button and you're gonna slide the slider up to 12 FPS. The next thing you'll wanna do is make sure your camera is in focus. So that'll be the button that looks like a square with a circle in the middle of it. The easiest way to get your camera to do the focusing work for you is to press the auto button let the camera focus on your puppet by tapping on the puppet where you want it to be focused and then turning off the auto so it doesn't change the focus throughout the film. Next, you're going to want to adjust the brightness or darkness of your film and make sure it looks like how you want it to look. In the phone version, you'll click on the sun icon to change the brightness or darkness. And in the iPad version, you'll have the option to click on the aperture, which is a circle that looks a bit like a pinwheel to adjust the brightness or darkness. The last thing you'll do to set all of this up is to just flip through all those settings and make sure none of them are set to auto because you don't want the brightness or darkness or the focus changing on you mid-film. It'll feel really disturbing to your eyes and you'll notice it in your film. So now we're ready to start animating and you're going to be using the red button here to take individual pictures and this program will string them together to create a film. So if your puppet's all set up and ready to go, go ahead and take your first picture by pressing the red button just once. All right, now go ahead and move your puppet just a little bit, maybe a quarter inch. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust something called onion skinning. It's a slider on your screen and it's gonna show you the last frame you shot and the live feed of your camera. And you can adjust the ratio of how you see each, but it's gonna help you make a smooth animation by showing you where your puppet is headed and where it's been. You can go ahead and take another photo, move your puppet another quarter inch, Take another photo and repeat that over and over until you've got a second of film. One thing to consider with each movement is that smaller movements equal slower motion and larger movements equal faster motion. So if you're trying to move something really slowly, just move it tiny increments at a time. And you can always press the play button and check your progress. All right, so I've got 12 frames. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one more in which I accidentally put my hand in the frame. So I can show you how to delete these kind of accidental frames. If you accidentally shoot a frame that you don't like the looks of, you'll just go down to the timeline bar where you can see each of your frames individually. You click on that frame and a pop-up menu will show up with some options for you and you're gonna to wanna to hit the trash can button that says delete underneath. You're able to scroll through your film at any time and delete any frames that you don't like in this way. So we've got a second of film. Let's press play and see how it looks. I like to watch it a few times through and make sure it's on the right track. 
And then when I'm ready, I press stop. And once in a while, when you press stop, it'll stop in the middle of the film. And you'll feel a little bit lost, like, oh, how do I get to the end? You can just scroll down across the bottom through your frames to the end. So now that our film is complete, I'm going to use the back button, which is the back arrow, to take me to a different screen. So you're going to go ahead and click the up arrow to share, and you'll click export movie. And then it'll ask you save movie and you'll click Save Movie, and it'll save it to your camera roll. And from there, you can airdrop it or text message it to friends, etc. And after you've exported your film, you can click the back arrow and get back to the gallery. And you can either re-enter your film here and keep animating, or you can go ahead and click the plus button and start a new film. So that's going to be the basics of stop motion for you. Let's get animating. Thanks so much for joining us today. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. And until next time, it's art in action.